The House will come to order, please. All members take their seats. All guests, please clear the aisle. The clerk, please unlock the machine. All members record their presence by pressing the green button. All members present, please vote. Record your attendance. Clerk, please lock the machine. There are 45 in the affirmative. We have a quorum. 45 members are present. There is a quorum. Please rise for the invocation to be given to us by Chairwoman Diaz, who will also lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. They are God. Today, we honor all the women and men who dedicate their lives to care for our children. Our child care workers are the caregivers of all future generations. We pray for their health and safety and give thanks to all of the nurturing and love they provide for our children. Amen. I pledge Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, into the republic for which it stands, one under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Chairwoman. Next order of business is the approval of the journal. Is there any objection to the approval of the journal of the previous legislative day? Hearing none, so ordered. Communications clerk, do we have any communications? Yes, we do, speaker. Please read and place on file. Representative Charlene Lima is unable to attend session today, Wednesday, April 28, 2021. Representative Brianna Henrys is unable to attend session today, Representative Greg Amari will be unable to attend session today. Representative Gregory Costantino is unable to attend session today. And Representative James N. McLaughlin is unable to attend session today, Wednesday, April 28, 2021. Thank you. Please place on file. New business. Is there any new business? Thank you. Please bear with me. I don't have my glasses today. So I have Chairman Azanaro with new business, Chairman Bennett with new business, Chairwoman Serpa with new business, Chairwoman Williams with new business, Representative Slater with new business, Representative Falella with new business. Is there any new business? Please raise your hand. I don't see any, but we can come back to new business if, if I've missed anybody. Thank you. Next order of business is today's calendar. Clerk, please read the first item on today's calendar. Item number one, number 5504. Thank you. Um, I got ahead of myself. So I think there's a consent calendar. Lita Blasajewski. do you move the consent calendar? Yes, Mr. Speaker, I move the consent Thank you. calendar. Seconded by Lita Filippi. Thank you. Clerk, please unlock the machine. All those in favor of the items on consent calendar, please vote green. Any in the negative, please vote red. Michael, thank you. You don't do. Lena Blasajewski, any proxies on the consent calendar? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to Rule 47 of the House Rules, I proxy votes in favor of the House consent calendar from Rep. Fogarty, Rep. Charlene Lima, 
and Rep. Marzokowski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Lita Filippi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Same request in the affirmative, Representatives Roberts, Newberry, Price, and Nardone. And Mr. Speaker, I think a few people are having problems with their laptops. Okay, well, we can come back. If anyone has a problem, please see the IT people. We'll come back for recorded votes, but this is the consent calendar. And thank you. Clerk, please lock the machine. There are 56 in the affirmative, zero in the, ne zero in the negative. The consent calendar passes. Back on today's regular calendar, please, Clerk. Item one, number 5504. Five, Chairman Solomon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, members of the House. House Bill 5504 by Vice Chair Bill O'Brien uh, would allow the sale of alcoholic beverages on New Year's Day by retail Class A licensees. It's a good bill, and I move passage. Thank you. Chairman uh, Solomon moves passage. Second and by. Representative O'Brien, Representative Noray, Representative Caldwell, Representative Phillips, Representative Carson, Representative Cardillo, Lita Blazajewski, Representative Slater, Deputy Whip Ackerman, Chairman McNamara, Chairman Hull, Representative Cortrevian, Representative Casimiro, Floor Manager Edwards, Stephen Lima, Representative Stephen Lima, Representative Felix, Representative Alzate, Representative Potter, Representative McGore, Chairman Corvasi and Chairman Abney. All seconding. There are no other seconds. There are no other lights. Clerk, please unlock the machine. All those in, fav in the affirmative, please vote green. Any in the negative, please vote red. Lita Blazajewski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to Rule 47 of the House Rules, I proxy votes in favor of item number one from the following representatives. Amore, Costantino, Fogarty, Geraldo, Hawkins, Henrys, Charlene Lima, Lombardi, Marzokowski, McLaughlin, Perez, Tanzi, and Vella Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Lita Filippi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Same request in the affirmative. Representatives Roberts, Newberry, Price, and Nardone, please. Thank you. Thank you. Clerk, please lock the machine. There are 67 in the affirmative, zero, excuse me, 68 in the affirmative, zero in the negative. The act prevails. Thank you. Next docketed item. Item number two, number 5907. Chairman Solomon. House Bill 5907 by Representative Marzalikowski would vacate the forfeiture or revocation of the Charter of New England Real Estate Marketing Services Incorporated. I move passage. Thank you. Chairman Solomon moves passage. Seconded by Representative Caldwell, Lita Blazajewski, Whip Kazarian, Chairman Abney, Representative Cortrovan, Deputy Whip Ackerman. There are no other seconds. There are no lights. Clerk, please unlock the machine. All those in the affirmative, please vote green. Any in the negative, please vote red. Lita Blazajewski, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to Rule 47 of the House Rules, I have proxy votes in favor of item number two from the following representatives. Amore, Costantino, Fogarty, Geraldo, Hawkins, Henrys, Charlene Lima, Lombardi, Marzokowski, McLaughlin, Perez, Tanzi, and Vella Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Lita. Lita Filippi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Same request in the affirmative. Representatives Roberts, Newberry, Price, and Nardone, please. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Clerk, please lock the machine. There are 69 in the affirmative, zero in the negative. The act shall prevail. Thank you. Next docketed item, please. Item number three, number 6131. Chairman Solomon. House Bill 6131 by Representative Lombardi would vacate the forfeiture or revocation of the charter of Robert O. Cerrone Auto Repair Services Incorporated. I move passage. Chairman Solomon moves passage. Seconded by Chairman Hull and Lita Blasajewski. Any other seconds? There are none. There are no lights. Clerk, please unlock the machine. All those in the affirmative, please vote green. Any in the negative, please vote red. Lita Blazajewski, please. I'm Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to Rule 47 of the House Rules, I have proxy votes in favor of item number three from the following representatives. Amore, Costantino, Fogarty, Geraldo, Hawkins, Henrys, Charlene Lima, Lombardi, Marzokowski, McLaughlin, Perez, 
Kanzi, and Vela Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Leader Filippi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Same request in the affirmative. Representatives Roberts, Newberry, Price, and Nardone, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Clerk, please lock the machine. There are seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative. The act shall prevail. Next docket item, please. Item number four, number 5943. Chairman Shanley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This bill comes to us from Chairman Corvesi, and it repeals a section of the statute relating to mail ballots that conflicts with federal law, an existing statute we have allowing a voter to cast a provisional ballot in the event they've requested a mail ballot and they arrive at their polling location on election day having not submitted that mail ballot. I move passage. Thank you. Uh, Chairman Shanley moves passage, seconded by Representative Phillips, Representative Caldwell, Lita Blazajewski, Representative Donovan, Chairman Abney, Chairwoman Ruggiero, Representative Morales, Representative Noray, Speaker Pro Tem Kennedy, Representative Cardillo, Chairwoman McEntee, Representative Speakman, Representative Knight, Representative Agello, Chairman Azanaro, Floor Manager Edwards, Chairman Bennett, Chairman Corvesi, Deputy Whip Ackerman, Chairman McNamara, Representative Cortrovan, Chairman Casey, Chairwoman Diaz, Representative Casimiro, Representative Kazarian, Representative Felix, Representative McGaw, and Representative Carson, as well as Chairman Hull. There are no other seconds. Representative Shawcross Smith also seconding. Thank you. There are no other seconds. There are no lights. Clerk, please unlock the machine. All those in the affirmative, please vote green. Any in the red, any in the negative, vote red. Lita Blazajewski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to Rule 47 of the House Rules, I proxy votes in favor of item number four from the following representatives. Amore, Costantino, Fogarty, Geraldo, Hawkins, Henrys, Charlene Lima, Lombardi, Mazlokowski, McLaughlin, Perez, Tansy, and Vela Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Leader. Leader Bl Filippi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Same request in the affirmative. Representatives Roberts, Newberry, Price, and Nardone, please. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Clerk, please lock the machine. There are 67 in the affirmative, zero in the negative. The act shall prevail. Next docketed item, please. Item number five, number 6095. Chairman Shanley. Speaker, this bill comes to us from Representative Felix, and it removes reference to Providence Plantations in statute relating to the judiciary pursuant to the uh, referendum that was passed last November. I move passage. Thank you. Chairman Shanley moves passage. Seconded by Representative Carson, Representative Speakman, Representative Rangel Vassal, Representative Caldwell, Chairwoman Ruggiero, Chairwoman McEntee, Lita Blazajewski, Chairman Abney, Representative O'Brien, Chairman Bennett, Floor Manager Edwards, Chairwoman Diaz, Representative Slater, Chairman Calvesi, Representative Kislak, Representative Kazar, Representative Cortrovan, Representative Noray, Representative Agello, Chairman Hull, Chairman McNamara, Representative Potter, Representative McGaw, Representative Casimiro, Whip Kazarian, Representative Alzate. Representative Morales, Representative Cardillo, Representative Dunneman also seconding. Any other seconds? There are no seconds, there are no lights. Clerk, please unlock the machine. All those in the affirmative, please vote green. Any in the negative, please vote red. Lita Blazajewski, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to Rule 47 of the House Rules, I proxy votes in favor of item number five from the following representatives. Amore, Costantino, Fogarty, Geraldo, Hawkins, Henrys, Charlene Lima, Lombardi, Marzokowski, McLaughlin, Perez, Tansy, and Vela Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Leader, Leader Filippi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Same request in the affirmative. Representatives Roberts, Newberry, Price, and Ardone, please. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Clerk will please lock the machine. There are 69 in the affirmative, zero in the negative. The act shall prevail. Next docketed item, please. Item number six, number 6191. Thank you. Chairwoman Fogarty. 
Thank you. I'm um, Chairwoman Diaz. Thank you. Representing um, Chairwoman Fogarty. Thank you. Proceed, Chairwoman Diaz. House Bill 6191 by Rep. Solomon. This is an act we named the Fishing Pier at Rocky Point State Park in Warwick after the former Department of Environmental Management the Deep Deputy Director Larry Mora Jean. And I recommend the passage, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Chairwoman Diaz moves passage, seconded by Representative O'Brien, Chairman Shanley, Representative Carson, Chairwoman McEntee, Lita Blazajewski, Chairman Abney, Representative Agello, Representative Handy, Representative Cortrovan, Representative Cardillo, Representative Morales, Representative Donovan, Chairman Azanaro, Re Chairwoman Ruggiero, Chairman Bennett, Floor Manager Edwards, Chairman McNamara, Chairman Hull, Representative Speakman, Chairman Solomon, Representative Casimiro, Whip Kazarian, and myself also seconding, please. There are no lights. Clerk, please unlock the machine. All those in uh, uh, favor, vote green. Any in the negative, vote red. Lita Blazajewski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to Rule 47 of the House Rules, I proxy votes in favor of item number six from the following representatives. Amore, Costantino, Fogarty, Geraldo, Hawkins, Henrys, Charlie Lima, Lombardi, Marzokowski, McLaughlin, Perez, Tanzi, and Vela Wilkinson. And uh, additionally, Mr. Speaker, um, the last one is Vela Wilkinson, and I believe Rep. Vela Wilkinson was in the affirmative and was announced in the affirmative on items number three, four, and five as well, but may not have come up on the board. So she's affirmative on, on this vote and, the, and numbers three, four, and five as well. So ordered. Thank you. Thank you. Leader Filippi. Thank you, Speaker. Same request in the affirmative. Representatives Roberts, Newberry, Price, and Nardone, please. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Leader. Clerk, please unlock the, uh, excuse me, please lock the machine. 69, the affirmative, zero, and the negative, the act shall prevail. Chairwoman Diaz. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're going to iron seven. Please, it's the most important item on our calendar today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Senate Bill 69, um, excuse me, 659 by uh, Senator Cano is a duplicate bill by Rep. Kassarian, and the bill is an act allowing Christina Maria to see Keanu to join the Honorable Leonela Felix and Gregory Donald Kowalski in marriage on an, about June 12, 21. We in the city of Potoke, Rhode Island. I'm happy to move passes, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. That is moved by Chairwoman Diaz, and that's going to be seconded by the entire House. Yes. Thank you. I assume, Representative Felix, you will be recusing yourself from this matter. Thank you. Uh, there are no other seconds. There are no lights. Clerk, please unlock the machine. All those in the affirmative, please vote green. Any vote in the negative? I doubt it, but please come and see me if you do. <laughs> Lita Blazajewski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and congratulations, Rep. Felix, again. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I've got proxy votes in favor of item, of item number seven from the following representatives. Amore, Costantino, Fogarty, Geraldo, Hawkins, Henrys, Charlene Lima, Lombardi, Marzokowski, McLaughlin, Perez, Tansy, and Bella Wilkinson as well, and congrats, uh, Rep. Felix. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Lita Filippi. Thank you, Speaker. Same request in the affirmative. Representatives Roberts, Newberry, Price, and Nardone, please, and the same congratulations to Rep. Felix. Thank, Thank you, Speaker. You. Thank you very much. Rep. Felix, before we uh, lock the machine and tally the vote, I will tell you that that is my parents' anniversary, and I wish you the same happiness that they found that special day. Uh, clerk, please lock the machine. All those in the affirmative have voted. 69 in favor, zero in the negative. The act shall prevail. Thank you. That concludes today's calendar. We are on to announcements and introductions, please. Are there any announcements, first of all, before we do this, on new business? Any new business? I failed. No new business. Are there any announcements regarding um, voting 
either people came in late or they had malfunctions with the machine. Chairman Casey. Yes, Speaker, without objection, uh, could I be recorded in the affirmative on items one and two? Uh, yes, so what, how about the consent calendar? Thank you, I, I caught that. I just, for some reason, I had a little malfunction. No worries, so ordered, thank, thank you. Thank you. Representative Bia, on the, today's calendar and consent calendar, so ordered. Chairman Craven. Yes, Mr. Speaker, can I record my attendance and my votes on one and two as well as the consent calendar and the affirmative? So ordered, thank you. Chairman McNamara. Yes, uh, two announcements, please, Mr. Speaker. Proceed. Uh, pursuant to Rule 7D, I will be introducing legislation remaining, relating to campaign contributions and expenditure reporting. And uh, I also have a request to adjourn in the memory of, uh, I would like to respectfully request that we adjourn in the memory of Barbara, Barbara Allison Cole. Uh, she was the wife of Warren Cole, mother of Anastasia Moss. And Mr. Speaker, she was a good friend and great neighbor. And I think you can appreciate this. Her husband was one of those individuals who grows giant pumpkins and won the state championship. And no true champion, especially in a giant pumpkin competition, can succeed without the support of their spouse. And Barbara was right there to make Warren a champion and she will be greatly missed by our, our entire community. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chairman, and our condolences to her family as well. Uh, Representative Cortrevan and then Chairman Abney. Representative Messier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can I be recorded as present for today, please? Absolutely, thank you. Chairman Abney and then uh, Chairwoman Diaz. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. An adjournment and an announcement, please. Just a moment, please. Please proceed uh, both requests. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I request an adjournment in the memory of Me Too Edward, who died tragically yesterday in a car crash in Warwick. Mr. Edward, who was a Warwick resident, and a constituent of Chairman McNamara's was only 45 years old. He was the brother of Chantel Sararin, who has been a dedicated and hardworking analyst for our House fiscal staff for almost 20 years. She lives in North Providence. On behalf of the House Finance Committee and all the members of the House, our thoughts and prayers are with Chantel and her family at this very sad time. And the announcement, Mr. Speaker, is that the House Committee, House Subcommittee on Human Services will meet at the rise. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, on behalf of every one of, of us in the House, I want to extend our condolences to Chantel. She's a very hardworking, dedicated employee, ser served the House for over 20 years, and she loses her brother at a very young age of 45 in a tragic accident. Our, our whole condolences to your entire family on behalf of the House. Thank you. Chairwoman Diaz and then Chairman Shanley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have an announcement. Proceed. The first one is that I was so excited to move and pass a rep Leonela Phyllis bill that I forgot to vote. So please mark me uh, affirmative for item seven. So and, ordered. And second, I want to thank uh, the members of the house who attend the Child Care Awareness Day rally today. On behalf of the Child Care Commission, I want to thank uh, all the supporters and all the great company many of the members uh, provide today during the rally. It was very success rally because uh, Margie uh, O'Brien from Capital TV did an excellent, excellent job, Mr. Speaker. 
I highly recommend you increase her rate because she deserves <laughs> it. So thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairwoman. Chairman Shanley and then Chairman Solomon. Request, Mr. Speaker. Proceed. Can I be recorded in the affirmative on item number four, please? So ordered. Thank you. Chairman Solomon. Thank you, Speaker. Announcement. Proceed. The House Committee on Corporations will be meeting at 6 p.m. in the House Lounge today, and we will be voting. Thank you. Leader Blazajewski, announcements, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, uh, announcement, please. Proceed. Thank you. So our next House session will be here at the Vets next Tuesday, May 4th at 4 p.m. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be also meeting next week on Thursday, May 6th at the Vets as well. So next week, Tuesday and Thursday here at the Vets at 4 p.m. On behalf of Spe Speaker Shikarchi, um, we invite you to a bill signing ceremony that will be taking place tomorrow at 2.15. This is legislation sponsored by Deputy Whip Mia Ackerman. It'll be tomorrow at 2.15 outside of Miriam Hospital in Providence. Governor McKee will be signing the Mary Ellen Goodwin Colorectal Cancer Screening Act. And of course, this was sponsored in the Senate and is in honor of uh, Mary Ellen Goodwin in her tireless efforts, and as well as the efforts of, of Whip Mia Ackerman. So please join us tomorrow if you can at 2.15 at Miriam Hospital. Additionally, Mr. Speaker, the deadline to submit your financial disclosure statement to the Ethics Commission is this Friday, April 30th. That's Friday, April 30th for your Ethics Commission statement. If you cannot submit your statement by the deadline, you must call the Ethics Commission and request an extension by tomorrow. Finally, Mr. Speaker, the deadline to submit your first quarter campaign finance report, ladies and gentlemen, to the Board of Elections is also this Friday. And um, last but not le least, Mr. Speaker, a happy birthday to our colleague, Representative John Lombardi, um, this Friday. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Leader. Representative Tabone. Speaker, if you could please mark me in the affirmative item one. Yes, so ordered. There are no other... Um, uh, Representative Morales, I'm sorry, I did not see... I saw you, but I didn't see your light, so oh. I don't have my glasses today. Okay. Mr. Speaker, in accordance to Rule 7D, I will be introducing a bill related to state affairs and government on the next legislative day. Thank you very much. Chairman Casey, is your light lit? There you go. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, under the provisions of Rule 7D on the next uh, legislative day, I will be uh, submitting legislation relating to alcoholic beverages. Thank you. There are no other lights. Representative Morgan, you don't have a light on, but I see you waving. You have new business. Well, we'll go back to new business one last time. Any other new business? Representative Morgan with new business, you can put it right there in the box. Thank you. There are no lights. Lita Blazajewski moves that the House ad adjourn. Um, okay. Just a minute. I got ahead of myself. I'm sorry. I do need those, thank you. Is there any objection to transmitting all matters on the clerk's desk to the Honorable Governor, Senate, and the Secretary of State forthwith? Hearing none, so ordered. Leader Blazajewski moves that the House adjourn in memory of Barbara Allison Cole and Mito Edward, seconded by Leader Filippi. All those please rise for a moment of silence. The house is adjourned and the desk remains open. You want to keep those for you, but I don't care.
Right, three, four, five, and six. She only voted in the Right. Okay. Yeah. So there's no so, okay, so I don't have to.